South Australia here, you can probably see by that pole there, which is made of two I-beams with cement between, which is called a stoby pole, predominantly used in South Australia, but that's not what I'm here for. So I reckon those suspensions up there are Jeffrey Dewitt's from the United States. You can see the blue colour and the way the pin's cemented into the um, disc of the insulator is completely different to the suspensions you usually see around here that are ball and socket or clevis joints, but that's completely different. Can't really see well, sorry about this. I'll try and get it. Once that truck's gone, I might hop the fence and look from the other end. Now this used to be 33 kilovolts once upon a time, but it's been stepped down to 11. So these suspensions in these triples are redundant now, but this, they left them up. You can't really see any type of marking from down here. But I reckon those are Jeffrey Dewitt's. Let me know what you think they are, if they, you think there's something else off there not Jeffrey Dewitt's or if they are Jeffrey Dewitt's. More survivors from the 33 kilovolt days. You can see up there that there's some multi-parts, 33 kV multi-parts from the, when this line used to be 33 kV. If you look over there, you can see that that's all 11 kV stuff there because this has been stepped down sometime, probably the 60s, the 70s. But those up there, they're pretty cool. I reckon they'd be APIs or something like that made in Australia, not Ohio brass. But they're still bloody rare nonetheless. And I think there's a few more further down that way. There's a road up there, but it's closed. And if we go over here, you can see the fuse holder setup is still intact as a 33 kV setup. They would have put 11 kV fuses in it, but you can see that the fuse holder pairs of um, insulators are still there and all them glass suspensions. 